Welcome back, Pisces. This is your girl, the Empress. Happy to be here with you guys today. All right, so we're going to talk about the remainder of December. We're going to see what energy is coming towards you. All right, so if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart for uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, you can utilize this video, okay? So it is a general read, okay? So whatever pops out, that's what we're going to talk about. Um, and if you are interested in joining the community, you can click the subscribe button, okay? Don't forget to click the bell so you can catch the notifications, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and, of course, subscribe, okay? So let's talk about the remainder of December for Pisces, all right? So um, let's see what we get here. Let's see what we get. What messages are there for Pisces for the remainder of December. For the remainder of December, what does Pisces need to know? All right, Pisces, we got the Ten of Swords that jumped out. Yes. It looks like you're done feeding into someone's BS, Pisces. <laughs> you're done feeding into somebody's BS game. Okay. Yeah, you're standing strong. You're standing you're standing strong, okay? You're you're coming out of your shell, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like you're bringing up something that you saw here. Um and you're you're cutting ties with some toxic energy, some toxic being, uh whatever the situation may be. I feel like you are disgusted rather. I'm getting like you're disgusted with someone's toxic behavior. Um, why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, you've lost hope or lost faith um, in a situation. You've made a final decision. Okay, the final decision has been made. Yeah, somebody here is going to regret their decision. Okay. Because now somebody is going back to being single, nine of pentacles, and the six of cups. Okay. Yeah, somebody has a, a, mm, a on and off switch. Okay. Somebody has an on and off switch, and you may feel like this person is unstable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You may feel like this person is unstable. And this is what is disgusting you about this situation, this person. Yeah, you feel like, mm-mm, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Mm-mm, yeah. See, we got the Four of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. That's definitely like, no, not interested. That's not going to work for me. Mm-mm. No, so you've lost faith, faith in a connection, okay? I feel like you're focused on uh, you're focused on progression and movement forward, and you're also focused on your pentacle. Some of you are business owners, or you're your own boss, or something like that. It could be related to work as well. But there's just you you've lost faith in a, a situation. It's, it's something here is just not working for you, um, and it's somebody's energy that is very. Um, on and off, okay? We got an on and off switch here with the devil, which is Capricorn's energy, the will of fortune, and the nine of swords. So that's like uh, somebody here is very toxic, okay? Their ways are extremely toxic, okay? They change like the weather, okay? They change, they switch up all the time. Like it's a, like an on and off switch, okay? That's not going to work for you. I'm getting some very aggressive uh, energy here in the past with the Seven of Wands. Somebody's waiting to get their point across. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
But you you knew that this person was going to come towards you that way. You knew this person was going to bring that energy towards you. Uh, I feel like you were ready. Okay, so we got the two of wands for future energy. This is looking into the future and being better prepared and planned. Um, I'm, I'm kind of getting like you're waiting for something. Uh, why is the three of swords here and the emperor? Give me, tell me why the justice card is here. Yeah, see, you want the truth or you want to uh, have a equal give and take conversation. Okay, somebody here is extremely irrational um, and very childlike, very childish demeanor. The Knight of Swords is very childish. Okay, so this could be you going at someone, charging at someone, or this could be vice versa, but I'm just getting that. Um, I'm just getting that it's the other person here who's behaving very childlike, like they're moving very immature. Okay. Yeah, like talk about it. But but we got the death card here. Somebody's not coming forward and talking about how they really feel. Yeah, they're scared to uh, say it. Or they're afraid, they're holding back, or they're thinking of they're thinking of something to say. They're trying to think, get time to think about something to say to you, like a comeback. Because they feel rejected by you. The five of pentacles and the hierophant and the hermit. Yeah, somebody, how this person feels, they feel rejected or left out by you. They feel like you um like kind of like dismiss them. Um, made them feel small. I'm getting a real big argument, like a five of swords and a knight of swords. This is someone who's very aggressive. And this is people who are being very petty and childish. Like this is very childish energy, but it's in your hopes and fears. So maybe you fear that the situation is going to go too far. Okay. But I still see you standing strong and being confident. Yeah, the high priestess this is your energy. You know your strong points here. Um, and you know that you're going to win. You're going to come out on top. Okay, regardless of the situation. Yep. And see, if there's an argument here, you feel like you're not going to overstep me. You're not going to over, over uh, step your boundaries with me definitely getting that and i feel like with the strength card there you're keep you're standing your ground okay i see you standing your ground over here in the past too why is the ace of pentacles here you're spying on someone here And someone here is telling lies. It's like you saw something, but this person is still lying and saying that. Oh, I didn't say that. Oh, I didn't do that. But maybe you have evidence. Okay, maybe you have proof. All right, so it looks like uh, someone here is going to regret a decision or regret something that they said. Show me this other person's intention. Show me what's going on with them. Main female pathway and family room okay so i'm getting that there's another female possibly in a room here that's a main female okay somebody here could be having financial issues with the unexpected income and poverty here somebody's maybe trying to put on an impression that they have themselves together but maybe they don't okay but i'm getting that there's a, another female a main female here there's a main female
who may have had who may have some money. Okay, this main female may have came across some type of money or had some type of sudden wealth. Yeah, this person may does things in the community, like a community leader um, for change. But I feel like, um, let's get a storyline here. Who is this other female? Who is this main female? Who is the main female here for Pisces? Lots of pentacles here. So money could definitely be involved. I keep getting someone's charging or coming towards somebody really, really fast um, with something to say. Uh, definitely about money here. Okay, definitely about some money. Ten of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles. Someone here took some type of loss financially. Okay. Someone's afraid to tell someone something here. Because something fell apart or something could possibly fall apart. Um... Why is the Queen of Swords here? Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius involved. Yeah, manifesting some money or opportunity. Okay, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Somebody was waiting on somebody to get mad here. Somebody was waiting. Somebody's purposely pushing somebody's buttons here. Waiting for this person to get mad. I'm getting that there's this agree disagreement or argument. King of Pentacles here definitely could be about some money. Okay, about some finances. Or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn is involved. Why is the King of Pentacles? Okay, so somebody's spying here. Somebody's spying here. Why is the Page of Swords here? Not saying anything. Somebody spying on somebody and not saying anything. Okay, I'm getting a conversation could have been had in the past where things were resolved. Like the, like uh, a conversation was had and it seemed like it was resolved. Okay, and I feel like a conversation is getting ready to be had in, in the near future about um you know just an open conversation somebody here feels left out somebody here feels uh left out somebody also is regretting something that they're said that they said Somebody here most definitely is playing some type of game. Because I'm getting like, as the outcome, somebody knew that something was going to work. Somebody's pressing somebody's buttons uh, here. And somebody is getting a kick out of it. Somebody here is getting a kick out of some type of game that they're playing. And somebody's apologizing. As well, an apology is going to come out because somebody's being somebody here is playing, okay, playing with somebody's emotions and feelings here. Somebody's playing with somebody's emotions here. Why is pathway here? Journey. Okay, so somebody could be at a distance. Somebody's expecting someone to give them some type of gift. 
Um, like somebody is saying, like a main male, a female here is expecting some type of gift from some from a male to make something official. Okay, to show. Okay, we got message, mature man, marriage. Okay, so someone here could be asking for an engagement, asking to be engaged. Someone could be asking to take something to the next level or make something official. Um, and some type of message that was in some type of message, okay, to show how much someone has matured and possibly going into a marriage, okay? A marriage could possibly already be involved. But somebody feels like somebody is so far away from that. Like their thoughts are too far away from that. Yep, distant horizons. A distant lovers, okay? See somebody, some of you are dealing with someone who's who isn't who doesn't live in the same city as you or doesn't live, you don't live together, but I'm getting like someone's very distant, okay? Distant lovers, <laughs> for sure, okay? Now we got family room. So family could play a part in this, uh, in this situation, okay? Somebody may feel like they don't have a family um, or that they, they don't have support, Yeah, we got, okay, someone's mother here or grandmother, mature woman here, family. Yeah, it's like someone is saying that someone is expecting them, expecting too much. To think that they got it like that. Someone's judging someone. Someone's judging someone's courtship or judging. We got judification, courthouse. Somebody's judging uh, someone for their love affairs or the way that they handle things in the bedroom here. Children could be involved and somebody's concerned. Okay, somebody's concerned. There could definitely be a marriage here. We got imprisonment and marriage. Somebody here is stuck in a marriage, okay, to a, a man who uh, is possibly older but acts uh, very immature. Let's see how you feel about this person, Pisces. And let's see how this person feels about you. How does Pisces feel about this person? How does Pisces feel about that person? You deserve love. So you know what it is that you deserve, okay? Maybe you feel like you can get it from somewhere new, from someone new. Or I feel like some of y'all wanted it to be with someone from the past, okay? Like I said, for some of you, there's a marriage involved. We got wedding here. Um, so you deserve love. You're lovable. You know what it is that you deserve, okay? Give me one more for Pisces. How does Pisces feel about that person? Soulmate. So you feel like this person is your soulmate, but maybe you guys uh, need to deepen your bond. Maybe you guys need to find, um, either lift things up to a new level because they've got engagement here and very soon. Yeah, see, I feel like some of y'all are wanting a level up like you're wanting this person to get to know you all over again because maybe you've made some changes okay and you want these changes and things to happen soon okay and i feel like with engagement here you want things to go your love life to ascend to a higher level and there are factors of trust okay there are factors of trust give me one more card how does pisces view their person we got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, so some of you may be at a distance. Okay, maybe at a distance from this person. But maybe you feel like some of you guys want to go back to a honeymoon phase. Or some of you guys um, need to spend some alone time with your person. Or you, you feel like that. Like you feel like you want to spend some alone time with your person. Okay, we got finances and career and deception. Okay, so there could be issues with money and there could be issues with deception. Someone could be lying, cheating. There could be those type of issues because I did see trust somewhere along the factor of this reading. So let's see how your person is viewing you. How does your person view Pisces? 
true love. Okay, this is a romance of a lifetime, but I feel like they still are trying to get to know you, okay? Uh, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path, okay? Maybe you guys are from two different walks of life, okay? So this person is trying to get to know you, possibly trying to get to know your children all over again, if this is someone from the past, okay? Uh, but somebody here could have control issues. They may feel like you have control issues, um, you try to control the situation and healing family issues. So there's some things that need to be healed here. How, show me how else this person views Pisces. We have uh, forgiving and learning. Okay. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments and free yourself. So they could be feeling like, you know, you don't have to be here. You can free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. If this is what you want, then cool. If not, it's cool. Okay. And they're asking for some type of forgiving or to understand them. When you have finances and career, romantic feelings. Okay. So is it safe for you to, uh, for, is it safe? It is safe for you to love and romantic feelings here at the bottom. Okay, so there's trust issues here. There could be trust issues in regards to money. They could be having financial issues. But there are feelings here um, that they really can't let go of. For some of you, there was a separation here and somebody tried to make effort to heal the situation. But somebody here is too controlling. Somebody here is uh, trying to control the situation. Okay, so they could feel like you're trying to control the situation. What are the messages? How does Pisces view their person? You feel burdened by this situation. You feel burdened. You feel like it's a lot. You feel extremely burdened by this situation. Like, their actions, um, the things that they say may, may make you feel burdened. How do they feel about Pisces? They're walking away. They're showing tough love. And they're just, they're conflicted. They're conflicted. Okay, they are conflicted. This is something I'm getting like a wish come true or getting what they want. Okay. And the seven of swords. Somebody here is being sneaky. They want some space as well too. They want some space to be sneaky. They want some space to sneak off and go uh, do whatever it is that they want to do. Um, they're, they're coming off as like they try to do the right thing. Um, but we got the Ten of Swords and the and the Four of Wands. For some of you, there may be like a divorce, talks of a divorce. There may be talks of saying like how this isn't going to work. Um, I feel like they could be doing this for attention from others as well too because I'm getting lots of lots of people, okay? Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, um, and the Six of Wands. They could be doing this in front of a lot of people. Um, waiting to see what your reaction is going to be. Okay, wait and see what uh, your reaction is going to be. So this person is very, comes off to me as very childish. Um, they could be pretending like they're trying to avoid a battle with you, but I do see one coming. I do see one coming. Okay, yeah, I see somebody starting arguments here. They may feel like you're starting all of this, Okay. So you, the way you're looking at it, you're a lot more um, fixed in your, in like you, it's like you kind of are way more calmer than this person's energy. Their energy is like extreme. Your energy is like, you know, well, I know what I deserve. I know what it is. I know what I want. Um, yes, this person could be a soulmate, but I'm kind of, you know, not vibing with the, the way things are going. Yeah, they want some attention from you. Um, 
they have things going on. They want some attention from you. Um, they may need some attention attention from you. Like this person gives me like narcissistic vibes. Like the way that they handle themselves and handle handle, you know, their emotions and things to that nature. They're giving me kind of like narcissistic vibes. Okay, so what action should Pisces take towards this person or this situation? What action? Pisces okay we got wait wait to take action perfect timing okay so this is definitely about perfect timing I don't feel like you should be really rash to make any decisions um yeah we got improving health okay so like this is this situation is going to make you sick like it's going to make you sick to your stomach it's going to make you not want to eat it's going to make you uh make you stress out too much just put it on hold just put it on ice okay Wait to take action. It's all about timing here for this situation. Yeah, like, just focus on your pentacle. Focus on your bag. Yeah, and we got the lover's care. Somebody's going to uh, look back at a situation with regrets, okay? Somebody's going to regret being so tough or being so hard and, and uh, wrong. I'm getting very wrong energy, like coming at somebody wrong, okay? But just just kind of keep your keep your feelings about the situation to yourself for now. Okay. Take action when you're more grounded. Um, and with love, perfect timing is this is divine. Okay. Divine. Let divine step in. It is what it was. It is what it's gonna be. All right. Yeah, see, a conversation is gonna come in. A truthful conversation about how someone feel feels. Feels, feels, feels are going to be all on the table, okay? So, somebody's going to spill it, how they truly feel, but I feel like right now just is just not the time, okay? Right now is just not the time. Yeah, wait and see. Wait and see. So, you will know which move to make. Just wait things out and see where it goes. Right now, uh, Take continue to take action on your finances, on your manifesting, on uh just focus on you okay focus on you because somebody's like this this someone here is just out of the blue walking off and leaving like if there's a relationship here there's getting ready to be a separation or well, there already is a separation we got the devil could be from a capricorn this situation is just toxic like it's just giving it's, it's just going to bring you negative energy anyway but your finances are going to be looking really really good okay so shift your focus is there um where you know for a fact you're going to win and you're good at and things are going to go your way go your way focus and shift your things towards that because this worry and stuff somebody here just wants attention and just trying to keep your attention, okay? So just focus on you. Focus on you. All right, so that's the message that I have for you guys. Um, if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading, guys, all personal readings, if you're new, I'm running specials. Make sure you contact me via email. All of that information is going to be in the drop box below. Okay, and if you are interested, I do still have a few things on the website. Um, you can check out the items that I do still have available. A lot of things are out of stock. I have to stock back up, guys, which I'll be doing this week. Um, but check out the website, all right? And till next time, ciao.